Hey guys, so I'm here to just kind of just go over something I've been kind of dealing with for a little while and I decided to bring it here because I've mentioned this twice on Instagram and a couple times in person. I've kind of gotten like a little bit of flack about it, but at the end of the day, it's my personal decision, at the, if that makes sense. So my thing is, um, I'm contemplating, or not even contemplating more now, I'm like seriously, seriously, seriously planning on cutting my locks within like the next three months. Honestly, I wanted to wait until springtime. I don't know if I can wait that long. It's just, and honestly, it's, I'm not really attached to them. Yeah, I love having the excess motion and having longer hair, but at the same time, I don't know if I mentioned this in previous videos. I actually hate having long hair. Like my hair in high school might've been like chin length. And that was really the entire length of how long I wanted to have my locks in the first place. I never wanted to have them to my shoulders, down in my back. Like I never wanted them to be really long. Actually, certain ones of them are long enough for me already to the point to where I already want to cut them because they're like getting caught on my lanyard for school or like my keys and shit. And it's just driving me nuts. Also, I've had, um, I've always had very sensitive skin, uh, especially my scalp, mainly because it doesn't get a lot of light. It's, I guess, the most sensitive skin I might have. And so it, I never took really well to relaxers. And so when I first went natural, or actually the entire time I was a loose natural, I was washing my hair almost every week. Some, no, I was washing my hair every week, sometimes twice a week. And my scalp thrived under those conditions. It was the, um, because I constantly have, I guess, itchy scalp, no matter how, like, it was better when I was able to wash it every week, twice a week. But now it's gotten worse since I've, the longer that my locks have gotten and the, the thicker my hair has gotten in some places, it's harder for me to really get down to my scalp. Um, it's harder for me to really, like, clean my scalp as much as I want to. And I know for the fact that the longer my hair has gotten, the, like, the, the itchier my scalp has become. And it's gotten to the point to where I know I've probably scratched bloody grooves I'm sorry if that sounds disgusting into my scalp because my head just itches that much I've tried the tea tree oil I've tried peppermint oil the only thing is I and also it's hard to get that shit straight onto my scalp unless it's like time it's unless I've just gotten my hair done and right now I'm due for a retwist and now I'm debating if I want to I'm due to have my hair done this week I'm debating if I want to just say screw it and not get it done because that's money that I can keep in my pocket and just get my hair cut or if I want to just try to hold on a little bit longer I really don't know how long that's going to last though so, I don't, I don't know. It's just, I'm not overly attached to my hair. I hate constantly having people touch my hair too. That's another thing is, um, I know before I mentioned that I used to smudge my hair, um, to like rid my hair of, I guess, other people's energy. And I haven't done that in a while. And that's probably another reason why I feel like my hair is just weighing me down. I just, I, it's, I've gotten to the point to where I don't want it anymore. I, I want to go back to having a short hair, nice little fro. I can do my twist. That's another thing too. Um. I liked what I could do with my hair when I had an afro. So I'd be able to do twist outs, uh, coil outs. Actually, I hated doing coil outs because to me, my, my hair texture is a little too um, dense for that. So it damn near be stuck trying to get those out. But so I liked being able to do those. I liked being able to get my hair braided every now and then. If I ever wanted to straighten my hair, I could. Not like permanently straighten, like get a relaxer because I don't ever want one of those again. But if I wanted to sit down and have somebody flat iron my hair and have a bob for a day or two, then I could. It was shit that I could do if I had an afro that I can't really do having locks. And another thing is I there's only so much I personally want to do having locks in my hair. The most I'm willing to do is twist outs and braid outs on my locks. Like I've done a, a style on my head and I hated it mainly because it was so tense. The tension on my scalp was killing me. I had a headache for about a week and literally I took them down on day number eight. Like I could not stand it that much. So, like, every, I've seen people with these ornate curly cues and bantu knots and everything else. And, like, I, I don't have that. I don't have that in me. I really don't. Another thing is financially. Um, just for me to go get my hair done here um, in Delaware for my lock tissue is about 60 bucks. Now, some people, that may not be a lot to them. For me, being a college student, working a part-time job and having other bills to take care of, that's a lot of money. And also, I'm also paying for the gas money to go all the way up to... Because where I get my hair done, there's no, I guess there's not a fat, great loctician in my city. So that's a 45-minute drive there and another 45-minute drive back. So that's about a quarter tank of gas for me to go up there. Again, that's not a lot to certain people. It is to me because I cannot constantly afford to be, I can't afford to have, suck a quarter tank out of my gas just to go get my hair done. Then the money that I have to put on my easy pass to go up there. And then if, say, I don't want to get it done in, in Delaware, 
Say I want to go and get it done in my mom's area. To go to my mom's area, I got my hair done once there. That was 80 damn dollars. Like, not including tip. So I'm talking about close to $100 for me to get my hair done one time. And literally, once I wash my hair or once I um, my hair feels too dry and I have to moisturize it and do like a sh really good job moisturizing it, then my hair goes back to looking like this because my root game is too strong. And so I end up looking like this again, And which is another frustrating thing is I hate looking... It's one thing if I want like a fluffy looking twist out. It's another thing if my hair is just frizzy and I can't control it. And I think that's another bit of a thing is because locks, you kind of just got to let them grow on your own. I am a bit of a control freak in certain areas of my life. My hair tends to be one of them to a certain extent. I, I can't control how all, I, I can't control the fact that I need to wash my hair to a, cer a certain amount every week. I can't control the fact that like my ends are frizzy. I hate it. Like, I, there's certain things I can't stand being involved with my hair that I have to deal with now having locks. And it's just getting to the point to where I might try to make it till Christmas. I can't guarantee that. I might just say, screw it, go down, stay down a couple days later for my brother's birthday, um, get my hair cut then. If I make it that long, I might just say, fuck it, and cut it on my own and then go to a barber shop and just say, look, I, I did this. I need you to fix this. I, I mean, everybody. a lot of people are saying, oh, we like you with your locks. I don't give a damn if y'all like me with my locks. And don't take that the wrong way. But at the end of the day, it is my head. It's my head. It's what I want to do. And I, whew, the other day, somebody told me pretty much I look terrible with short hair. That's your goddamn opinion. I don't care. I'm not dating you. And I never will. Basically, because you, you've told me pretty much your concept of a beautiful woman is somebody who has long flowing hair. I'm sorry, that's not my personal, that's not my definition of me. That's never been my definition of beauty. I just, like, if you want to rock long hair down your ass, that's, that's your, that's your thing. And if you look beautiful doing it, I will give you that, the power to you. But for me, I like having short hair. If I ever wanted, as my sister would call it, sheep status, where I have a, like, a, a decent sized halo of a fro, I'm going to be happy with that. But I don't, I, me and really long hair has never been rock solid together. And just, for, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about. It. I'm I'm gonna talk it out with somebody else. I'm talking it out with my dad. But please don't under please understand that your concept of what you think is great on me is your personal opinion, and that's really what you like on you. If you like long hair on me, that's a reflection of what you like for yourself. Therefore, you like long hair on your own. But don't tell me that I'm less beautiful of a person because, or I'm a terrible looking person with short hair because that's really what you want for yourself, and that's what you want in your ideal mate. And that's what that don't do that. Cause that's tacky and rude and you're lucky I did I was too tired to say anything about it because that just as like a couple people were like you shouldn't have said that you can't say that to this person she's a queen no matter what and like damn right I am but that's thank you to the ladies that shut that person down about it if you think I look better with locks that's your opinion however I'm not sure what I want to keep doing with my head right now bye guys <laughs>